lost the lead. Tango down. Very close. Never give up, boys. We tied for the lead. Tied? Close game. Oh, did I get the kill cam? 40-38! What is up guys, Johnny here. In today's video, I want to introduce a new game to the channel. It's Call of Duty Mobile. It released in soft launch in Canada and Australia yesterday as I'm recording this. And you guys know I've been looking to cover another game on the channel for a while. Uh, I Don't worry, I'm not leaving Shadowgun Legends at all. I will still cover the news, the new events, the updates and everything. I will still stream Shadowgun Legends all the time. But, you know, it's very hard to do a video every day about Shadowgun Legends because the weekly events are sometimes short and we can do everything in two or three hours. And then there's six days to wait for the new event. And I'm running out of content. I mean, I try to cover the news. I try to cover everything. It's just seven videos a week. Uh, I run out of things to say. So I was looking for another game, guys. It's not a secret. And I started talking a little bit about Chess Rush, but it's a strategy game. And I was very, very hesitant to bring videos on my channel because it's so different from Shadowgun Legends that I thought it was not a great idea. Now, Call of Duty Mobile is a shooter. It's another first person shooter. So I thought maybe it's a better choice for my channel since my viewers like first person shooters on mobile. And Call of Duty, I mean, you guys probably already heard about it. You know what it is, right? So today I'm just going to give you guys a quick look and I got a little bit of gameplay at the end and I will be back with more. But definitely, guys, leave a comment below. I need your feedback. Are you guys going to be mad if I start bringing some Call of Duty mobile videos on the channel like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, waiting for the Shadowgun Legends event? And I mean, I mean, if you guys are not interested, it's OK. Leave a comment below. But like, just understand that for me, I, I want to make videos. And I want to have content to to produce content, you know. And I love I I love shooters. I want to give this game a shot, and cannot wait to hear from you guys. So let's look at Call of Duty. It is another free to play game so far from what I've seen. But like I said, I just started. I downloaded yesterday. Uh, you have different game modes that you can see. Call of Duty Zombies coming soon. I'm a big fan of zombies. I played the old school Black Ops Zombies. And even uh, World at War Zombies, I love the zombies in Call of Duty. There's also multiplayer and Battle Royale. I know Battle Royale is a big thing, or it was a big thing last year at least. Um, and you will unlock Battle Royale at level 7. I just reached uh, level 7 uh, minutes ago. So I can play Battle Royale or normal multiplayer. You got Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Hardpoint, and stuff like that. Now, of course, for every free to play games, they need to monetize their content. And as you can see, they got uh, season pass or battle pass. If you guys played PUBG Mobile, I talked with Super Kush earlier today. He confirmed it's pretty much the same. Uh, you can you can play for free. If you play for free, you see the, the top row. Uh, as you progress, you do some, uh, some objectives or, or challenges and you will unlock stuff. You will unlock uh, free free or soft currency points. And with that, you can buy stuff in the store. Uh, you will unlock badges and stuff like that. You can unlock skins, but you can also buy a premium pass. And like in uh, PUBG Mobile, you have two levels of battle pass. You can buy the cheaper one, which is in this game, 800 cut points is 9.99 Canadian for uh, what I've seen in the store. And you have a premium pass plus for 25 Canadian. So same thing as PUBG, if you buy the cheapest pass, you start on tier 1 and you have to unlock everything through the season. But you can pay more to start with like a head start. Instead of starting at tier 1, you'll start at tier 25. So for more casual players, if you don't have a lot of time to spend in the game to unlock everything, you can pay to unlock everything faster. But again, it's not pay to win because it's skins, emotes, um stickers like cosmetics and stuff and you also get the pr the premium currency that you can uh, spend in the shop for buying more skins 
buying more emotes and stuff like that so like every free to play game uh and i mean you guys will let me know in the comments but usually you don't pay to get stronger you pay to have uh, a better look cosmetics skins for your weapons like colorful weapons colorful knives so uh, you can check the battle pass and you can check the rewards but once again um it, it looks like that like badges for your profile and uh and skins and stuff but you also get experience points and stuff so you can level up your weapons and when you level up your weapons you unlock uh like slot to put attachments to them so you can have silencers and stuff like that and you can level up your weapons faster if you have experience cards you can have double xp for your weapons for a day or something like that so um yeah i think i will probably uh buy the battle pass because it's just for i mean it gives you something to do you have daily challenges and weekly challenges and yeah like try to kill 10 guys with a knife uh get 25 kills with a shotgun you know it's like the hacking missions in shotgun legends that they give you stuff to do and it makes you play different ways than if you had nothing like that you would just use the same weapons all the time and you would not try the different game modes right so probably starting tomorrow i will probably upload a video and uh, show you guys some progression but I, that's gonna be it for today i just wanted to show you around real quick but that's just it for today i will leave you guys with some gameplay i just wanted to show you around real quick the game is out in in soft launch and the difference between soft launch and beta beta you probably will have your progress wipe out maybe sometimes it's just testing stuff and fixing bugs and then coming back with another beta but soft launch it means the game usually is ready to go but they they just launch it in a few countries and it's a slow launch and they see uh for gathering data and analytics how the players react how the players uh play uh how the servers will handle the traffic and stuff and then they start releasing in other countries so i don't know probably this game will be global soon maybe september maybe before i have no freaking idea but hopefully it's gonna be global soon because i know it's gonna be a big a big hit right it's not a, a small name so that's it for now enjoy the gameplay i will see you guys tomorrow peace out level four six five Death match Oh, dude, that map, I don't remember. I played that map. It wasn't Black Ops 2, right? Lost the lead. He's dead, right? We lost the lead. How do you slide like that? Heads up, team. Enemy UAV spotted. Enemy down. He got you. Hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Target down. Trying to help, man. Trying to help. Well, this game is close. I'm gonna stick. We lost the lead. This guy was a butt. Oh, this dude. He was just waiting for me to show my face, man. We lost the lead. Careful. Follow the squad. There's a guy, right? Yeah, I said the hit.
Hostile hunter-killer drone inbound. Enemy Heads up. Enemy UAV spotted. Teamwork, boy. Teamwork. This boys right there, right? We're almost there. Keep it up. We've taken the lead. Predator missile on standby. <laughs> Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Predator missile inbound. I get anything I got killed this is so sad like if you cried it's too close fight harder it is close my heart Very close. Never give up, boys. We tied for the lead. Tied? Close game. Oh, did I get the kill cam? 40-38. Oh, we needed that win. That was such a close game.